Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson eight. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue taking a figure and partitioning it into equal sized shapes. And that's the big deal. Specifically, we're also gonna be adding some new vocabulary. We're gonna be talking about halves and quarters of circles and rectangles, and of course halves things cut into two equal sized pieces and quarters are the whole has been cut into four equal sized pieces. So let's get started. So what we're talking about is we're taking the idea of what we were learning in an earlier lesson. I guess it was uh, the previous lesson actually. We're going to take that circle and we're going to say, well, how can we cut that circle what, into equal sized pieces? And if we wanted to say we wanted to cut it into two equal sized pieces. We could cut it like this. And there are our two equal sized pieces. You've got one right here. And then if I were to have drawn this totally perfectly, there would be the other one. And so the idea is we want students to see that we are cutting it into two equal sized pieces. And the new vocabulary word is we have cut them into this right here is one half right there and we can say that we now have two halves all right and that's the idea and then of course if we wanted to talk about quarters here's our circle our circle has been cut into four equal sized pieces and we now have quarters all right, and that's the big deal here. So for this lesson, that's the, the two vocabulary words that we want our kiddos to be learning, half or halves and quarters. All right, so those are the two biggies. Now, a big word of caution. When we're talking about rectangles, all right, crazy fun things start to happen when we're talking about rectangles. So let's say we've got a rectangle. Now, if this is my rectangle, and I want to cut it into quarters. A classic way to cut it into quarters might look like this. All right, that's a perfectly fine way. Another way we might cut it into quarters is we might cut it into quarters like this. Now, you might have an outside of the box thinker in a, as a student over here who might want to cut it into quarters like this. One, two, there's our cuts. The thing that, that might trip up a lot of adults, parents and teachers, is that these four pieces don't look the exact same like over here. They don't look the same. So the question is, do we have quarters? Are they equal sized pieces? And the answer is yes, these are indeed equal quarters. There are four quarters. They don't look the same but they are indeed the same size. So this, it's, I shouldn't say same size, they, they take up the same amount of space, even though they look different. One triangle looks very different from the other. They take up the exact same amount of area. So we are gonna say that those are equal quarters, even though they might not look like it. So the idea is, let's start practicing. So we just have a whole bunch of questions where the students are given a shape, and we have to decide, are those cut into equal parts or not equal parts? And remember, equal parts don't have to look the same, but they do have to have the same amount of area, or take up the same amount of space. So for this circle, we can see that those are not equal parts. For this rectangle, we can see that those are equal parts. It's two equal triangles. And that's the idea. So parents and teachers, I'm gonna let you finish the rest of this worksheet. It's the same idea. Just look at the shape and decide if they have been cut into equal parts or not equal parts. Now down here, they've kind of changed the question to do we have halves or quarters? And so the idea is we we have equal parts, and because there's four of them, we're gonna say that those are cut into quarters. And the last page for this video, 
the question says, we, we're kind of removing some scaffolding. We're now shading in a certain number of these parts. It says, what part of the shape is shaded? So you've got this rectangle. It's been cut into two pieces, and one of those two pieces has been shaded in. What, do we, what, what part has been shaded in? Half. How about over here? We've got four equal parts, and we see that one of those parts has been shaded in. So what has been, what do we have? We have one quarter. And you get the idea. The interesting thing here, though, is when you look at C, it's been cut into four pieces, but our choice is either one half or one quarter. We want our students to commit. And the answer here is, of course, going to be one half, because we can see that our rhombus has been cut into two equal sized triangles. All right, that's the kind of the tricky one because students might want to say quarter on that one. I'm going to leave you to solve the rest of these on your own. And that wraps up. Let's see. First grade, module five, lesson eight. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Here's the thing I was going to say. Um, kind of a fun one. Feel free to give your students this rectangle, cut it in half, and then cut this half in half like this, and then cut this half in half like this. And now ask your students and let your first graders have a wonderful conversation. Do we have four equal parts? What a great question, isn't it?